All right, so you've created a character in Adobe Character Animator. You're really happy with all the movements and the lip sync works great. But you'd like to have some varying expressions with mouth rig. The way that you would normally achieve that is by creating a whole separate mouth rig with different mouth shapes that show the emotions you'd like to use, such as a happy mouth set, a sad mouth set, etc. Um, this can be really time consuming, especially with a mouth set like this, which has animated triggers. So there's a lot of layers in each one of these vizimes. So one workaround I have found is hop over to rig mode and select your mouth group. Not any of the mouths inside it, but the entire folder that it's in. Uh, you can go over here to the tools at the bottom and grab the dragger tool and simply add pins in either side of the mouth. Make sure that your anchor point for the layer is kind of set in the middle so it will distort evenly. And you also want to make sure that your attach style is weld and you're attached to your head appropriately. If it's set to free or hinge, you're going to get some weird distortion when you do pull on those dragger pins. Back in record mode now, I'll be able to move the mouth and kind of place the corners wherever I'd like. This works really well with this mouth set because the corners are pointy. Some mouths it might not work as well, but you'll still get some movement, which is very useful. And let's say I'm going to use this sample dialog down here just as an example. And I'm going to do this quirky kind of half smile. I'm going to press control one to do a one frame take. On Mac, that is Command plus one. And I'm going to just delete these face captures that I got. Now I can drag these out across the dialog and I can kind of tween them in and out. And here you'll see. This is a task of the emergency group group system. It works really well. This method does have its limitations. Um, when you do go too far in one direction, you'll notice some pinching kind of in the center. That's something that I can work with in this particular model, so that's not a big issue. The other thing is if you have any turning in your head, which I do have on this head, um, it'll pinch the mouth. So I'll simply have to disable those trackers if I'm moving the head side to side, or I can move the draggers with the mouth and uh, create a se separate keyframe there. Either way, it's just something you need to be aware of if you do have a moving head. And that's a quick and easy way to add a little more versatility to your mouth rigs in Character Animator. Hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching and happy animating.